Hello, I'm Tom Gensel, PSBA's Executive Director. I'd like to talk with you briefly this month about two things, a key legislative issue and a movie. But first, a legislative item, and that's pension reform. As you know, PSBA has been working very hard to address the issues of underfunding of our school retirement system. Earlier this year, the House of Representatives, on a very strong bipartisan vote, passed House Bill 2497. This legislation made a number of changes to the retirement system for future school employees. Most importantly, it reverted back to the pre-Act 9 benefit levels. Act 9 of 2001 was the legislation that increased retirement benefits by 25 percent. So this new bill, House Bill 2497, would say for future school employees, they would come in under the pre-Act 9 benefit levels. That's a significant change. The bill also puts what are called collars on the increases in the school district contribution rate. We still have an unfunded liability in the retirement system. It has to be paid, and there are going to be significant increases for school districts. But under House Bill 2497, the amount of increase from one year to the next would be limited, so it would help districts be able to budget for this just a little bit more easily. Well, the bill passed the House. It went to the Senate, which this fall had some ideas of its own and inserted amendments into House Bill 2497. The most important amendment, in our opinion, creates something called a shared risk element of the retirement plan. And by this we mean that if the, the investment performance of the retirement system does not meet the 8% assumed rate of return on investments, the employees, the teachers and other school employees, would pay into the retirement system a little bit more. This is a significant change because in Pennsylvania, like most other places that have defined benefit plans, the risk rests with the employer, in this case the school districts in the state. So under the amended version in the Senate, the risk would rest with both the school district state and the school employees. This is, in effect, a hybrid version of a defined benefit plan. And as you know, PSBA has drafted and had introduced a hybrid bill in both the House and Senate. And so while this is a different form of that, we think it's important because it ensures that the employees have some skin in this game as well. So the Senate passed the bill, sent it back to the House, and that's where things get just a little bit interesting. The House normally, we think, would accept these amendments that were made by the Senate. But the Senate made one other change, and that is they added language creating a new state fiscal office. This really has nothing to do with pensions. It's not an issue that PSBA is involved with. But it is a controversial provision, at least for some key members of the House of Representatives. So it's possible that the portion of the amendment from the Senate creating this new office might scuttle the bill altogether. We hope not. This bill is too important to let go. And what we have to remember is that because we're at the end of a legislative session, if this bill doesn't get enacted, it goes away completely, and the clock starts all over again next year with a new General Assembly and a new governor. We don't want to let this opportunity get away from us. So PSBA is encouraging our members to contact your representatives, your state representatives, and urge them to approve the Senate amendments, to to accept the Senate version of House Bill 2497 so it can be passed finally and sent on to the governor. Now the movie. The movie is Waiting for Superman. It came out this fall and it's a story about five families in major cities around the country who are trying to get their kids out of the regular public schools and have them enrolled in charter schools. And their names are submitted to a lottery and they're hoping their names will be called. Hence, they're waiting for Superman to get out of the regular school system. You can guess that this is fairly negative about public education, particularly in urban settings. And there would be a temptation to be pretty defensive about that. But we think it's also an opportunity, because there are a lot of good things happening in public schools, particularly in Pennsylvania, where achievement has been increasing for a number of years, more and more students uh, performing at grade level, meeting AYP expectations and so forth. And from my time traveling around the state and spending a lot of opportunities talking with local school board members and administrators, I know there's a lot of good things happening in your school districts. 
So this movie really gives us a chance to talk about that, to invite the public to watch the movie and then come and talk with you about how your districts are doing because I think your stories are really good and this is a great chance to engage the public in them. There are a lot of good things happening in public education. We're happy to be working for you and I look forward to talking with you again soon. Thank you.